Within a few years, it's hoped this, that's IBM's Q-System 1 quantum computer, will be cracking calculations that would take a standard digital computer years. Today in Germany, the first IBM System 1 in Europe will be presented to the public near Stuttgart. China and the US have been working on quantum computers for years. Now Europe hopes to catch up. Ten German companies have teamed up in a joint initiative called QTAC, including BMW, Siemens and Bosch, to develop applications for the computer. IBM System 1 will run those applications. Well, for more, let's bring in DW's uh, Christy Platson, who can certainly fill us in on quantum computing. Good to have you with us, Christy. Uh, first of all, I mean, what are actually the chances uh, for Germany and German companies to catch up when it comes to the industrial use of quantum computing? Yeah, good morning, Monica. So, I mean, of course, this is the ultimate goal with this uh, with this whole initiative. I mean, Germany's research minister has said that uh, the country wants to re achieve technological sovereignty. So that's the, the real idea behind this is is to gain a, some of this ground that Germany has lost to the U.S., to China, to these uh, these two countries are much farther ahead in this realm and, of course, are keen on maintaining uh, their lead. I mean, they, you know, they have a lot to gain by keeping other industrial uh, countries dependent on their on their technology. Um, now, that being said, uh, Germany uh, is kind of a double threat in the sense that um, it, it has both a strong industrial sphere as well as a lot of really great research institute, uh, institutes right here at home. And uh, so, uh, what we're what we're hoping to see, or what the country is hoping to see, is uh, to kind of combine those uh, to to sort of even the playing field um, and. And, and yeah, there's going to be a real concerted effort to do that going, all right. uh, going ahead now. Exactly, to bring all that expertise on both sides together, because as you mentioned, it, when it comes to research and uh, development, Germany is certainly one of the world leaders, even in, in, in quantum technology. And uh, as far as I know, the government wants to invest even more. How much money are we talking about? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, the, the government said they want to invest uh, over a billion uh, euros in this project, and that's just through 2025. Um, so this is going to be quite a long-term project. So, of course, we're going to be talking about uh, further investments going forward. And, uh, you know, we have to remember that it's not just Germany involved here. The EU is also a stakeholder. They have a lot to gain by having, you know, a quantum uh, computing uh, whiz in-house, so to speak. And then, of course, there's, you know, we haven't even mentioned the corporate players yet, you know, all these industrial leaders that, that you mentioned who who've uh, publicly committed to, to this technology. And, uh, you know, we can expect them to be putting their money where their mouth is as well. <laughs> what is the long-term goal there? Right. So maybe let's uh, kind of zoom in for a second on what's happening right now with this new initiative. So what what uh, what this consortium, um, as they're calling it, wants to do right now is identify possible use cases for this technology and then to also identify uh, how algorithms could be developed to make simple industrial tasks possible. So, you know, so what do we what can we do with this and what's realistic that um, once they've determined that that information would then be shared, you know, on a, on a public level. And then there would, of, cor of course, be a regroup. Uh, you know, deciding how do we go forward from here. In the very long term, we're talking about sort of changes to, to technology, to industry that are almost hard for us to understand from, from today's perspective. Um, I mean, but in a general level, we're talking about, uh, you know, incre uh, increasing efficiency of, uh, of transportation, of logistics. I mean, we saw this uh, fiasco when the, the freight uh, ship Evermore got stuck in Suez Canal. Uh, a, a quantum computer could help sort out new routes for those ships that all got lodged there. Uh, very quickly. Uh, we're talking about improving um, computer learning, making it easier for computers to understand human speech, to see things. Um, you know, so uh, we're we're seeing, uh, we're, we're talking very long term here. However, so these are just some some ideas of what we're going to see many years down the road. Right. Well, given all the challenges we're facing, I think it's time for quantum, com to, uh, quantum computing uh, to really take off. Christy Platson from DW sure. Business, thank you so much. Thank you.